Hey folks, this is Mike from Techaholica, and today I want to show off a little bot I wrote for Twitch. And it's basically a, a casino bot. So when you load it up, you can do things like play slots, you can play blackjack, you can bet at a bookie, you can also uh, go to the bar and get some drinks and all that kind of stuff, right? So the way it works is uh, if you're loading up the script, you're going to want to load this uh, techacasino.ini, that's the actual script that runs. And before you do that, though, you want to, you want to configure this techacasino.config file, which basically has stuff like so. When as users enter the room, a uh, user profile gets created for them and it tracks stuff like how much money they have and how drunk they are, what bets they have, and all that kind of stuff. So, the Tekka Casino, you could configure things like, well, how often should I reward people for being in my channel? So it could be like ten minutes. Every ten minutes, you get ten dollars for being in there. You use that to gamble, right? It also sets things like what's the welcoming message you get when when people come in. Um, you know, uh, different variables on how much stuff, how much stuff costs, and how it works in the system. So, as you open a file, you can you can see all the various changes that are in there. Also, there's an objects folder here, and in here has all the objects that the users can interact with, right? So, there's the uh, the energy drink, the light beer, scotch. So you can configure like how strong all these drinks and how much they cost, and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. Even the descriptions about them, right? So that's how you, that's how you load all that up, right? So you can configure all this to however you want to. You could add new object objects or take them away, however you want to configure it. But let's go over and get into the actual uh, overlay now and how it looks or how the bot looks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up my Twitch overlay. A little bit. I put the chat window really big in the center and the window here. You can see it loading up right now. Uh, I think that's so it makes it a little more easier so you can see the actual configuration or the, the commands I'm using. And over on the left side, you see the bets and all that kind of stuff. So let's get rid of uh, the first bit. All right, so you see now no more bets, right? So I guess uh, we'll start off with the, the simple ones, right? So when you come in, you can look around. And it'll give you a general like description of the casino around you. You can look at something, right? So I'd say look at the bar. All right, so it has all the things there. I can even look at items here. So I can look like here. And I'll tell you something generic about them, right? So now if I want to, I can buy a light beer. There you go. And now I could drink that light beer. Alright, so some very basic stuff. I mean, so you can see there, there's a drunk level. Uh, if you notice, you, you kind of can see it behind my the chat window. There's that, that drunks and drink and 50% that's showing right now. So I have another bot in there, it's Tekka Drunk, and he basically plays this game right he's, he's gonna be in there buying drinks and doing stuff so uh, as he drinks more you see that little counter go up on this on this overlay I thought that was a neat thing to add to it that's not really part of the casino thing but that's part of my twitch overlay so you can see that up there I, I just wanted to explain that real fast and also you see that you have your own drunk level and as you drink more you get drunker and drunker which doesn't really affect anything but when you get to 100% it'll just say you pass out then you wake up again and you can do some more that's just something stupid to do um, if I wanted to you could also give drinks like I say give like beer to take a bot who's the only person in here oh, I already drank my beer so let's buy another beer all right so now I have the beer and I can say give like beer to take a bot all right so now if you want to you can be friendly and start buying drinks and shots and passing them around and all that kind of good stuff right um, if you want to see what's in inventory you can do inventory and so that'll show you, right now I don't have anything in there, but it tells you how much cash you have and how drunk you are, all that kind of stuff. So, all right, so now we're done with the basics of just the general commands. Let's look at the actual game. So the first one we want to play is slots. Actually, it's going to how you bet. So if we do the bet command, it'll tell you that I am betting zero. So I'm, I'm playing just for fun right now. So I'm going to do bet 10. So now I am betting so now every game I play, no matter it's slots or blackjack or the bookie, I'm betting ten dollars. So also I probably should point out this is all fake money. Obviously, no one's actually using real money here, so don't get confused if you win the jackpot and you don't you don't win a million dollars. So let's do play slots. All right, so there you go. So basically, it just gives an output. This is a randomizing thing where you have three columns, and each of the columns has a different uh, symbols: uh, cherry bells, whistles, or Whistles. What is the other ones? Um, I forgot there. But anyways, there's several icons like you would see on a typical slot machine. It'll do a random check and see if they line up. And if they line up, you win a certain amount of money depending on which symbol it is and all that. So you can see right now I didn't win anything. I try again. 
And just like real slots, it's really hard to win these things. But it's still fun to do. Now let's do play blackjack. Alright, so it's going to do is an output your hand. And then it's going to output what the dealer is showing. So right now I have a 3 and a 9 for a 12. Like I say, hit. And now I have 15, so I'm going to go crazy and hit again. And I bust it, so I'm out. So let's try it again. Alright, so I have a 13. And just to be done, I'm going to say stand. So I let the dealer play out his hand. And I win, because the dealer busted. Alright, so one last thing I can show you with this. Let's do, uh, we'll do, what do we have? 16. Well, this is probably the worst double down bet, but just to show it, I'm going to show you how to double down. <laughs> 19. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I, I, that worked out a little bit better than I thought it would. So you get, so you get hit, you can stand, you can double down in blackjack. And it's just a single one-on-one uh, -on -one versus dealer with like, you know, uh, I don't know, infinite number of decks. So there's not like a, you can't count cards in it, basically what I'm saying, right? So there's, there's a chance that everyone can get, get dealt pieces, so. Or whatever. So um, next we can move on to is the actual bookie. So let's go look bookie. Oh, that's right. So there's nothing really to do to look at. So the idea is that um, eventually I'll put that in there where you can look at and see the current bets. But I didn't put that in there, in there because you can already see the bets on the home on the screen on the window, right? So as an admin, I can say place bet. This is an admin command. I'm going to say this is bet IDs one. I'm going to pay out two times and I want to bet will I win this game and your options are yes or no so you bet yes or no if I'm going to win this game yes no alright so I place my bet uh, place bet one, two, one, this game is no oh no, not place bet, I need to Set bet. Place bets to use your command. So set bet one. We'll do two is the double and will I win this game? Sorry, there are a lot of commands I gotta keep track of. Alright, so now you're there. I've set a bet, the ID is one. So whenever I mention bet numbers, I'm talking about one. If you see there it says bets one equals. So the one is the bet number that you're gonna place bets against. And I also say that I'm betting, I'll give you the options, right? Something yes or no. It's all text-based, so you need to type in, when you place your bet, you need to type in yes or no, not Y or N or something else like that. So as an admin, you want to make sure that you make things simple. Don't put things like that are hard to spell words or whatever, you know, don't leave it open-ended. Um, it, it really just, it just does single text matching, right? So yes, no, over, under, or even like numbers, right? So you're going to say, you know, I'll do one later, you know, how many kills will I get? And then, you know, put in a number in there. So that, that's another good bet to do. But anyway, so as an admin, I set the bet up, and now it's shown on the screen saying, uh, well, I win this game, yes or no, and I'm paying out double. So whatever you bet, if you win, you get double that. So as a user, I'm going to say place bet one, and I will say yes. All right, so now I say I place bet on number one, and I'm betting on yes. Okay, so now as an admin, I could, I could do another one. So let's do uh, set bet one, and I'll pay out five times. And how many kills from I get? All right. So now I have a second bet going. Oops! I actually overwrote my first bet. All right. So I overwrote my first bet. So I messed that up. So let's do uh, place bet. So as usual, I'm gonna go back in there and change my bet now to five. So I'm betting five on bet number one, and I'm going to do a second bet, which is going to be yes or no. So set bet two, pay out two times, will I win? All right, so now we have two bets going. One is it's just an open-ended saying how many how many kills will I get, paying out five times. The second one is will I win, yes or no, paying out two times. So as usual, I'm going to enter the second bet now. So set bet two. And I'm going to put in 10 for 10 kills, or place bet 2. So I'm going to say place bet on bet number 2. I'm going to bet on 10 kills. All right. So now I'm betting that on bet 1, I'm, I'm betting that, uh, oops, I did it wrong again. So let's do place bet 1, 10 kills. 
place bet two would be yes. All right, all right, I finally got it. All right, sorry about that. So I'm betting number one that I'm gonna I'm gonna get ten kills, and I'm betting ten dollars like that my bet originally stated. I bet number two, I'm betting yes. Um, I bet number one if I win, I get paid out five times. I bet number two if I win, I'm getting paid out two times. So now as an admin, I can, I can come in here and I can say close bet. So I'm closing bet on one. So now betting is closed on bet number one. You see, see it got updated. Like I say close bet two. All right, so now all bets are closed. Now let's go ahead and end the bet. So now we're actually we're having an outcome, right? So at the end of the game, I can start paying out bets to people. So I can say, all right, end bet one. And the outcome was 10. There you go. So now I, I'm closing out the bet. Well, actually, it was like a close. Close means you can't bet against it. Ending is like, okay, now we've got the outcome. Now everyone gets paid out if they want, right? So you can see here it says, all users who bet 10 on bet number one have been paid out now. So as I bet my $10, I should have been paid out $50 for winning the five times amount, right? But now I'm going to, as an admin, I'm going to say, and bet. Two and the outcome was no, we actually didn't win. All right, so now there we go. So I, now, since I bet yes on number two, I would lose that bet. So the outcome was no, I bet wrong, I lose that bet. So that's how that works. And now, just to make things a little nicer, I'm going to clear out these bets. So clear out bet one, clear bet two. So there, back to a clean screen again. So, anyways, I thought this would be a lot of fun to do these kind of things. I know as as you're playing the games and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get more interaction with people uh, in, in my channel. So I think, you know, setting bets and drinking and passing drinks around and stuff like that would be a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully you guys liked it. You know, I mean, give it a shot. If you download it and install it, let me know. I'll, I'll go check out your channel. If you think I can make any improvements, let me know. And uh, just look, uh, hopefully I'll hear back from you guys. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See you.